Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I've been away from my home longer than I expected dealing with some things with my children. And I wanted to share with you some surprises that I found in my food storage in my pantry when I got back home. First of all, when you have foods in your refrigerator and then you're gone longer than expected, of course things are going to spoil. I did find lots of green things in there. I found green bread, green cheese, and green meat. So of course those all have to be thrown away. But something that I found that was surprising was this package of sealed up luncheon meat. It's a Hillshire Farms and it's good stuff. I like it and I like the containers that it comes in, plus it's pretty tasty. But when I open my refrigerator, you know how we say, oop, if something is bulging, don't eat it. Well, this was bulging so much, it actually blew the lid off in the refrigerator. I didn't have to look for the date to know that this was expired, but it's the first time I'd ever seen anything like that. So if food is bulging, throw it away. There's a reason that it's giving off gases and things that aren't quality food any longer. That needs to be thrown away. We don't mean to waste food, but sometimes things are outside of our control and we just have to figure that it's nice that we had extra so that even if we lost some of our food, we still have other food left that we can eat. I looked in my pantry and I found a little can of Ortega Fire Roasted Diced Green Chilies and this has started to bulge. It's not concave anymore, it's convex. You can see where the curve of the can has started to bulge and there's a little bit of give to it. That means it's starting to spoil inside and this can would not be safe to eat. I realize this can has a Best Buy Use by Sell By date of 2018, so of course it's been in there longer than expected. And one of the problems with food storage is maybe you have a recipe that you use green chilies. I have a recipe that I used to make all the time where I'd mix up eggs and Monterey Jack cheese and green chilies and sour cream and make like a little like a chiliriano little casserole, but I haven't made it in a long time, and so I wasn't rotating the green chilies because I wasn't using that recipe anymore. So if you find that you're not making things with ingredients that you have, make sure that you rotate them out with some other way. Usually what happens is we find we don't have the ingredients we want when we wanna make something, not that we're tired of making that, and then the ingredients become wasted. Pay attention to the quantity of items that you buy and that you have a purpose to use them. Don't stockpile foods you don't know what you're going to do with them. But then try to make sure that you use your foods up in a reasonable amount of time. Will some of it get wasted? Probably. But the good thing is we usually have other food in our house that we can still eat. And so while this isn't a good idea, it's not safe to try to eat something that is questionable. The next item I was glad to find in my food storage was this waffle mix because you only have to add water. Usually I buy the Krusty's waffle mix and you have to add oil, water, milk, and egg. I don't have fresh milk and egg. I do have my powdered egg replacer and I have some powdered Neato milk, but I don't have to worry about even looking for those items because this one only needs water and then I don't need to worry about having things, looking for substitutions. I can quickly go to my pantry, make some waffles for breakfast and it's really nice to have. Look for foods that you enjoy eating and try to find them that either you make sure you have all the ingredients that go with it or that you find that it already is included. The Snow Qualamy Falls Lodge Pancake and Waffle Mix is really delicious and it is easier, doesn't require as many ingredients as other foods and so you need to look and see what you can find and I recommend this if you haven't tried it because it's very tasty. Then I think there must have been some kind of an earthquake because I have a dented up can of soup that was down on the floor. I have a dented up jug of Gatorade that was down on the floor and a dented up jug of apple juice. Now I don't put these things up very high simply because they're very heavy but they still uh, have been knocked down from where they were. I try to make sure that all of my food is secure because I do live in earthquake country but you know you never know when an earthquake is coming and the only way you're going to know if everything is as safe as it can be is if it doesn't fall off the shelf when you have one. 
So make sure if you do live where those kinds of uh, natural disasters happen, that you have some way that you have put strips along or bungee cords or stored food in boxes. And no matter where you live, store heavy foods that can leak on the lowest shelves possible because number one, if you do have like jugs of water way up high, they're super heavy, they might uh, compromise your shelf and then they're gonna fall down and damage other things. Plus, if it gets a leak, then it doesn't run down through everything else. So put the heaviest things down low and the driest items up higher. It's just the recommendation that I have. Another tip I have for you is gratitude. We've been going through so many things no matter who we are. There's always problems, disasters, uh, challenges that we need to go through. And a great tip I have is to make a gratitude journal. If you write down every single day something, at least one thing that you're thankful for, then it helps you put your life into a positive outlook which makes your day be better than always we get bogged down with the negative. And the thing about making a gratitude journal is as you go through the day, then you start thinking, oh, look, look at that beautiful flower. Maybe that's a thing I'll be grateful for. Or you think, man, I got to sit down and have a cup of coffee and nobody even disturbed me. And pretty soon you realize that you've changed your outlook on life and all day long you're looking for what's the thing I'm gonna be grateful for and you find out you're counting blessings all along the way all day long and then by the time you come to the end of your day and you want to write something down you might have a hard time figuring out out of all the things you have all the positives rather than looking at all the negatives that can really bog you down so try making a gratitude journal just to help get a positive outlook and remember we all have challenges but we can get through it you've all probably been through many difficult things and every time you've been through something it makes you a little stronger and we can be thankful that we're blessed that we can still get through it we still have our life we can keep going so remember prepping is a lifestyle every day try to do a little more make sure you're preparing to take care of yourself and your family no matter what the challenges are ahead because we're all going to have some but if we're counting up our gratitude and we're stockpiling things that we use it's going to be the best possible outcome no matter what the future brings if you liked my video i hope you'll share it with someone else you think might enjoy it and please subscribe to the alaska granny channel